Gamers, welcome back to the series. So, we're just flying around right now, flexing with our elytra. But, you've probably noticed already, a couple of things have changed. First of all, yeah, I decorated the nether portal a bit. I felt like the nether portal was actually really boring. So, I decided to just encase it in crimson trees and I think it looks pretty good. These will stay up forever. I've also done like a corrupted path. I like it a lot. Behind the portal, we have basalt pillars, which I like as well. And then over here, we have a grid and a ton of materials for a build that we are going to be building today. Because yes, today's a building episode. And my portable container is being brought into the world. It contains spare wood, spare cobblestone, spare rockets, a bit of spare food, and spare armor. Basically just a bunch of spare equipment. If we run out of wood, we can just grab some from our shulker box. If we run out of rockets, we can go ahead and grab some from our shulker box. We're going to be carrying this around for the foreseeable future, and we could add more to it if we want to. It's just the beauty of shulker boxes, I really love them. But today, we are going to be moving out of this tiny house. It's a really nice house. It's really cozy. I really do like it. But we built this thing 20 episodes ago. Now the dragon is dead. We have full netherite equipment. We've got wings. I think it's time for an upgrade. So today we're going to be building a really nice suburban house inside of survival Minecraft. This intro has been really long and I just want to get on with it. But please drop a like, subscribe and share. Let's go. Okay, so we will start by building the main house area where we're going to be living. Or at least the walls of that area. And also if you're wondering where I got all this grey concrete from. A lot of grinding. It wasn't really fun but hopefully it's going to be worth it. I really want a better house. I have a vision and this house is going to be really, really good. I'm also deciding to go with modern. Just because I feel like modern always looks the best. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it looks better inside of creative, but I don't really care. I just really like modern. Now that we have this place, we want to extend this up another 12 blocks, I'm pretty sure. And then we literally just want to add a ton of grey concrete going all the way around. Going up to this height, 12 blocks. And I feel like we're going to need a lot more grey concrete than this. I don't know, I just feel like we're going to come across that situation. And I'm not really looking forward to it. But I'll see you once we've got the main wall. Like if we just go ahead and fly up here. I mean, look at all of this grey concrete that was placed. It's actually absurd. Grey concrete has got to be my least favourite block because of how much I've had to get of it. Killing this wandering trader without even looking at its trades has got to make my day. I need to do it to calm down because I really did not like placing all of that grey concrete. Now it's time to dig out all of this grass and replace this floor with stone blocks. And then the second floor, which I will place in a second, will be made out of oak wood. So we have this floor in place and as you can see we have the garage floor in place. We have the garage floor and roof in place on this side as you can see here. And now we have to actually build the house floors. So on the second block up, the seventh block up and the twelfth block. Okay so we're back and it's been like 20 to 30 minutes since the last clip. A lot of stuff has changed it might look it might not look like much we have three floors here now yes this is a floor and then we have two floors underneath me we have the garage floor in and we also have i'm pretty sure this is going to be the garage roof in as well and we can gracefully glide down here for the next part of today's build the next step 
is to place these stone brick stairs for the roof basically literally just all around this massive gray concrete square and yes i i just fell off the building anyway yes it is time to build the roof this next part is going to be very tedious but it will all be worth it in the end let's go all of the roofs are now in place and oh boy this took a long time but there's still a lot of work to be done and the build is far from finished now we want to add pillars in and i thought we would do this tiny detail on camera this is basically the foundation for our outside wraparound porch that i have planned and these pillars want to be six tall so that's one two three four five six and may I just say, the pillar quartz block is honestly flawless. I really do like it. And then here. We're also going to have to clear out some of this land right here, definitely. But we can do that, no problem. And the final pillar is going to go right here. Well, here we go. Here is our outside wraparound porch, and I really do like it. We have the chest there with the materials. I really like this wraparound porch. It's actually really nice. Time to add in the front door, which looks very nice, and we will add in the garage door, which is round the back. Why does this house have a garage? I don't know. Do I need a garage? No. Do I want a garage? Yes. And we'll add in the back door right here to get into the garage. And yes. And now it's time to add the garage doors and windows. Without the doors and windows, we've just added in the garage doors, which look pretty nice. But now it's time to do, like, the actual house's windows, which I feel like will bring this place to life. Because right now it just looks like a massive grey concrete wall. The outside porch really makes it look better, but it just doesn't look perfect. Hopefully this will do something to fix that. Let's add in the windows. Just finished with the windows and I must say it really does bring this place to life a lot. Just take care of this zombie. If we do a little if we do a nice little fly through for you guys, it actually looks really nice. I really do like it. It's a lot better than my old house. And I'm really excited to start living here as of next episode. But it still isn't finished. It may look finished. But not yet. We still have a little bit more work to do. And we're back. A little bit of time has passed. And look at the house. Isn't it looking magnificent? But just look at this. It's so good. But it's time to add some of the final few features to this build. And I'm really excited to do just that. Gamers, I am proud to finally announce that this suburban house is complete. And I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited to move in and complete the interior next episode. Because, as you can see, the interior on all floors, it's not done. That's next episode. So you already know what we're going to be doing next episode. We have a nice flower bed here. We have a nice garage here for cars, even though there are no such thing as cars in Minecraft. We have the nice outside wraparound porch, which we'll probably decorate a bit more with some lanterns and flower pots in the next episode. But it is still really nice with two staircases. We have bushes going all around the house. On the back side of the house, we have a nice, lovely cobblestone chimney. And then we have a ton of back windows. We have a garage door entrance. And we just have more leaves wrapping around the house. It's a really nice house. I'm really excited to live here. Here's what the house looks like from the air. It's really quite nice. I'm really happy with it. We'll gracefully land right here. But I know what you're thinking. George, what about the outside terraforming? We haven't terraformed one bit. Well, I just want to get this edited. I've been on Minecraft building for so long. I don't really want to do any terraforming today. But yes, the rest of our world is terraformed. We can't just have this build be the odd one out. Especially because it's the biggest build so far. Because of that, we are going to be terraforming in the next episode. 
as well as doing the interior and moving in a lot to look forward to next time so you don't miss it make sure you drop a like subscribe and share and I will see you guys next time. Stay safe and goodbye gamers.